Something. Was that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that nothing's happening. Nothing's happening? No. You just talked with our daughter and our granddaughter. Yeah. They're looking fine. Thank you very They're much. They're bored as well. They are bored as well. My elbow and my shoulder is you know, not worse but not better. Uh, we had lamb chops yesterday. Thank you to Jeff and Donna. And happy belated birthday to Donna. For, oh, I'm on the uh, side cam as well, you see, on the side cam. So, happy birthday, Donna. Uh, what else? Um, we've been, we've been, what we've been doing, been doing nothing. We've been sleeping late. Late, really late. And then just breakfasting into brunching, into afternoon teaing. Yeah. Um, the weather uh, has warmed up a little bit during the day. It was cold last night, extra cold last night. But the weather's warming up. The wind is warm. I left the, uh, what's it called, the thermometer out in the sun and it's showing 27 degrees. So uh, in, in direct sunlight, it was over 30, but uh, in the shade, it's 27 degrees. But I don't think it is 27 degrees, but uh, that's what it's showing. I think it's painted on that thing. Yeah. So really nothing, a lot has happened, so that's why we haven't been publishing, but we have got a few more extra subscribers on YouTube, so this is to you, all the new subscribers, thank you very much for supporting us, and all our old um, watchers and likes on, on Facebook, thank you for sticking with us, and we're hoping to bring you more information, all the information that you need to know about the coronavirus and the lockdown is basically in Janet Anscombe's website and Cleo O'Flynn, who lives across the road, has been very good at pushing out the information from the Ayuntamiento here in Adeji. So uh, the town hall here in Adeji has been pushing it out in German, English and Spanish. And we f I feel that we're quite well informed. I feel that a lot of people are taking it a lot more seriously than it was. Yeah. And so there's not many uh, people just flaunting the law. There are a couple of people that are still getting together, but it's typically people who live alone and in the same complex. So I'm torn between them sort of breaking the law, if you like, by having a get together and them being on their own in a, uh, in a, in a flat when they're only like a corridor away. So they're in the same building, in fact. So, so I'm not too sure whether, whether to feel, well, how to feel on that. Maybe you've got some ideas. Uh, you may comment as long as you keep it nice and civil. Uh, what else we got? We got a little bit of a wind today, but it's nice blue skies. Uh, I'll show you with the GoPro what we got. So we've got uh, the pool that hasn't been used for two weeks. Nice blue skies, a few scattered clouds there. Over on the other side, got some clouds on the mountain, but it's not really affecting us. So, yeah, this is day, what day is it of lockdown? If Sunday was the first day, then last Sunday was the 8th. Yesterday was the 15th. So it's uh, day 16 of lockdown. <sighs> you didn't do the face again. <laughs> she didn't do the face again. What a shame. Can I do it now? No, it's too late now. I'm not going to edit this. Well, actually, I'm going to edit this, but uh, only very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, Chris is on a bike. She's uh, ridden from Adeki to Fanny Bay. Oh, that was another thing as well. Somebody's put up on one of the websites, I think it was I Love Tenerife, uh, how do you pronounce Adeki and Fanny Bay? Well, it's quite easy as long as you don't pretend to put a foreign accent on. All you have to do is to pronounce each letter in Spanish. So Adeje is A D E G J, which is J and E again. So Adeje is like Adeje. Now a lot of people try to put a G in there, you know, because when you're speaking fast or when people are speaking fast, it might sound like a G, but it's actually a H. But it's hard to do a H sometimes when you're speaking. So Adeje might end up with a G or a G or more guttural. But it is definitely not a decky, which with a K. It's definitely not a decky. And Fanya Bay, uh, the N is like the N in new, and the E has got an accent on it. So that's where the word actually has the accent at the end. So it's Fanya Bay, like San Francisco Bay. 
or Cardigan Bay or so anyway that's 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 how you oh, pronounce Coldwind those two Bay. or Colwyn Bay right so Adehe Fania Bay what else have we got we got Arona Los Cristianos La Caleta La Caleta with one T it's very rare to get two T's together I think in Spanish can you think of a word with two T's together no uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, um, I keep pushing this and I'm not, I don't get an affiliate for this and I don't get any kickbacks. Spanish with Paul, if you've got nothing else to do, go online to YouTube, look up Spanish with Paul and go through his 10 YouTube, free YouTube lessons. And if you're interested in the way he does it, then go to SpanishWithPaul.com and register for his online course. It's on half price at the moment. I think it's $99 US, which is probably about 75 quid, is it? Or 82 euros? Maybe, I don't know. So, and you get a year's access online to his videos. And he also does a vocabulary course, which is the same price. But if you write to him, if you get one right to him, he might do your deal on the second one. We never know. Uh, but they're really good, 5,000 word vocabulary course. And he starts off with things like, I want, I need. And uh, he goes up to like level five and you can actually keep a conversation going with level five, as long as you're in the present tense and you're talking about yourself or others. The other thing is, is that also um, after level five, so six and beyond, he goes into the past tense and all that, and he, he gives you tips and tricks, sort of glue. He calls it glue. So you can actually string short sentences together. So you find that you're learning very short sentences, but when you put them together with this little glue, then you can actually come up with, with phrases and even paragraphs. Uh, it doesn't help really with comprehension. It's more designed to get you into speaking Spanish, but obviously if somebody comes at you full, full on Spanish in, you know, as fast as they can with a regional accent, then you're not going to understand them. But at least you can tell them that you don't understand them. They should speak slower. So try that. So I do recommend Spanish with Paul, if you want to learn Spanish, of course. And it's good for English speakers because he does it from English to Spanish. Uh, uh, if you're a German speaker or another language speaker, then probably there might be somebody else, else uh, that is better for that. But SpanishWithPaul.com. If enough of you uh, go and buy it, then, I, then email him and say, Tim told us, then you never know, he might give me an extra year and, uh, and I can be perfect. Actually, you probably only need 12 months if you, if you do it properly. It's just that uh, I petered off at the end, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. But I still, I still get by better than a lot of people who've lived here 20 years, so that's not too bad. What else have we got to tell you? I uh, don't see much of the neighbours, but we do call on the phone and stuff like that. Uh, I went shopping at the weekend, was it Saturday? I went shopping on Friday, I can't remember. I think it was Friday, I went for the big shop, and then yeah. Saturday I went out for milk, didn't I? Right. Right. So yeah, I went shopping at the weekend and I took some, uh, some footage there, but there was nothing really going on, so I won't even bother showing it, it's just empty roads basically. And I didn't go any tourist places anyway, so. So that was the other thing. There's one bike overtook me around a million miles an hour. I'll show you that. <laughs> and I want you. There's one car driver. He's still around. He goes. It's a motorbike. Motorbike. It's a motorbike. Yeah. But every day we get this guy early in the morning, <laughs> and he comes. I think he comes from over there, because we hear him go screaming past the back end here, and then we hear him go screaming down the road to the roundabout at the bottom, and then we hear him coming screaming back up. And then we actually hear him go back down to there. So uh, he's, uh, I know he's not going shopping or anything because he just doesn't get off his bike. I think it's just a, a blowout, you know? I don't know. If anybody knows him, the guy at the back here with the motorbike screaming. Tell him he's annoying. Eh? Tell him he's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Exactamo. Exactamo. What else we got? Well, we've been, oh, we've been filming for over 10 minutes now. That's good for YouTube. <laughs> they like videos that are over 10 minutes long. Yeah. Uh -huh. Should we just sing for a bit now, should we? Da, 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 da. 
No, they okay. They turn it off immediately. <laughs> if we start singing, you'll turn it off. I don't think so. And did those... Oh, if you start singing. No, you sing beautifully, my darling. Uh, well, you used to. I used to be. Really. Yeah. Sea shanties. Um, Chrissy even played guitar, you know. She did. I, in fact, I've still got her guitar. Uh, when my shoulder gets better, I'll... Uh, I'll play you a diddle on the guitar, okay? What else? That's it, basically. So, what we're going to do this afternoon, I'm going to tidy up a little bit. I've got to brush the floors, finish washing up the pots. I using, I'm using, I hate washing up cutlery, so I'm using all the cutlery, and then I end up with a big pile of cutlery that's not washed. And I know it sounds gross, but I always wash it just before we use it, which is, you know, the, the best time to to wash something yeah. in here just before you use it, but I gotta I gotta finish it off. I don't want it to invite cockroaches. No, we don't want to invite cockroaches. Well, we told the cockroaches six foot, six feet, please, six feet. Oh, we got a mosquito last night, didn't we? Yeah. But I looked online and apparently mosquitoes do not carry the COVID nineteen. Oh, and just before I go, if you uh, want to share something that sounds really great or really horrible about the virus, then do yourself a favor and fact check it first. Factcheck.org, I think, or Snopes.com. One of these websites that do fact checking for us. Because if you don't, you could end up harming yourself and others and looking like a bit of a Wally, to tell you the truth. Uh, sorry to all the Wallies out there, of course. And um, so yeah, just fact check first because I fact-checked uh, an old friend the other day and I've now been blocked. Maybe I shouldn't have said, don't be stupid, yeah? I should have said, just be careful. But, you know, gargling with, what was it? Hydrogen peroxide was one of them. And then the latest one was steaming kills the virus. It doesn't. It doesn't. Makes it worse, in fact. It does actually make it worse, yeah. So, this is Tim. For living with MS in Tenerife, signing off. Bye. <laughs>